want to hang? Because I can arrange it any time you like, Major, and you know it. So here are your orders, Major. Number one, you stay away from the Barclay girl. Don't dirty her name by mentioning it. Ah, oh, you're a real little leprechaun, aren't you, my love? Order number two. You stay away from the booze. Even you should know better by this time. Shut out. Oh, get out. Happens to be order number three. You stop your stalling, you finish your business, and you get out. Because if you don't, I may not be able to save your skin this time. Do you understand? So I'll say good night. And I'll be seeing you in the morning, Major. I'm gonna get me a gun and I'm gonna get you. You're gonna go sleep it off. Now get out of here, Crowley, and don't come back. I'll get you. I'm gonna get me a gun. I'll be back. It's getting late, and we're getting ready to close up. So if you don't mind, sir. Major Elliot. We've met? Well, not exactly, but I was with the 7th at Dollar Creek. Oh. If you want a drink, it's on the house, Major. Well, thank you, but you buy yourself a drink and bring me a bottle, please. Yes, sir, Major. Hello, Major. They call me Cora around here. Good evening. And uh, getting on towards morning, I, I got me a room upstairs, uh, out across the alley. If you'd like to do your drinking there. Well, some other time, perhaps, if you don't mind. You just might be missing out on something real special. Fellas come from all around just for me. Do they? One fella came all the way from Arizona. Get away from me. You heard him, Cora. Beat it. Best in the house. Pennsylvania rye whiskey. That'll be just fine. To the brave men of Dollar Creek. Yes, sir. Excellent. My compliments. Oh, my pleasure, Major. And we'll be open as long as you care to stay. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Well, I didn't expect you tonight, Major. I didn't figure you'd expect me, Meg. Meg? Oh. It's me, Cora. Remember? I remember. Any man, any time, Meg. Oh, you want to play games with me? All right. I don't mind games. You want me to play like I'm this uh, Meg? Now, uh, what was she like? Mm -hmm. I know you, Meg. Did you think I'd ever forget? Major, I think you had a little bit too much to drink. I'm gonna make it all right. It's a little cold in here, Major. Would you shut the door? Major going out again this morning? After breakfast. Did you know, Jared, that Major Elliott started out as a rear rank private? Do tell, Brian. Two months later, he was a sergeant, he was commissioned in the field, and he finished the war as a captain. Before he came here, he commanded a garrison at Tucson. Now, somehow I should have known that she would know all that. Is the uh, sergeant going along with you? I suppose so. Somehow I figured that. There's not too much the Major can do without the sergeant. Sergeant McQuaid is his orderly. Mm -hmm. Only, uh, just, uh, well... Well, what? Well, it seems to me that, uh, there's something peculiar about those two. Peculiar? Yeah, well, you ever notice that, uh, it's the sergeant that's always giving the orders? I always thought that women were supposed to be the gossips. They are. Of course they are. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I'm sorry I overslept. It's something I rarely do. Oh, there's no need to apologize. I'm just glad you had a good night's rest. Actually, I didn't get to sleep till almost dawn. When I did, I slept like a child. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I've got to get out and prod those uh, hired hands. Now that he's up in San Francisco, it leaves all the work to me. There'll be no gallivanting around now, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Major. Well, I'm afraid I have to be on my way, too. Mother, you are under strict orders to have a good day. Fine. You too, Major. Thank you, I'm sure I will. I envy you your family, Mrs. Barclay. My father died when I was a boy, and I never did have any brothers or sisters. And your mother? My mother. Oh, she's living in Mexico now. I suppose I did have a family of sorts when I was growing up. My mother kept a roof over our heads by running a lodging house. So there were always plenty of people around. Men from all over the world. That gave me an education. I suppose I didn't appreciate it at the time. Yes, my mother gave me quite a head start in life. Do you have pictures of her? No, but she was beautiful. She was the toast of the lodging house. I remember people used to call her by her first name. And so did I when I was quite small. Folks used to think that was funny, and I guess it was. What was her name? Meg. Come on in. Morning, Jared. What brings you out our way? I've got to see Major Elliott. Oh, what about? You remember a girl worked at the Gold Eagle named Cora? Yeah. She was murdered last night. Bartender says that you were one of the last people to see Cora alive, Major. 
was in town last night. How did she die? She was strangled. Whoever did it put his brand on her. His brand? What do you mean? The letter A was burned into her shoulder with a match or a lit cigar or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. Funny? Oh, I didn't mean that way, Fred. It's just that... Wasn't there a book by Hawthorne, The Scarlet Letter, where the heroine was forced to wear the letter A? Why? She was accused of being an adulteress. That's it. Oh, Major... Major, how did it happen you were at the Gold Eagle so early this morning? I couldn't sleep. You recall my exchange with McQuaid about the wine last night? Yes, I do. Well, I'm still carrying some Confederate lead around in me, and it's painful. When it hurts too much and I can't sleep, alcohol will usually do the trick. However, our regimental surgeon prefers that I abstain until times of real need. Last night was one of those times. Major, was there anyone else in the saloon? Just the bartender and the unfortunate girl when I arrived. The bartender was alone when I left. Jared, do you remember Judd Crowley? Judd Crowley? Yeah, he used to work for us about a year ago. Yeah, that's the one. He's been helping out over at Kane's stable recently. The bartender says that...